And we begin with breaking news that we've been following. Chopper 3 is live over North Philadelphia where a fire truck has crashed into a building. This is at 7th and Girard in North Philadelphia. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Cartelia. We've learned that several people have been rushed to the hospital. Mm, Alex Hoff and photojournalist Matt Moriano rushed to the scene for us. And Alex, if you're with us, what do you know at this point? Well, Yuki, Jessica, what we just learned is that at least five people have been injured in this. That is four firefighters and one civilian. That number is not exact at this point, and it could possibly grow. We are told that all of this happened when a fire truck was responding to, with lights and sirens on to a scene nearby, got involved in a vehicle collision, sending an entire engine almost clear through the building at the corner of 7th and Girard. I want to show you something behind me here. Matt, follow me. This is a vehicle that is sitting right behind where we are going live. Extensive damage to the front end of this. It's unclear right now. Police have not confirmed that it was involved, but it is behind the yellow police tape right now. So once again, that is four firefighters and one civilian injured in this crash. We have a very heavy response here. So 7th and Girard obviously shut down. Also several blocks in either direction shut down to traffic. We are awaiting a press briefing. We are told that will happen in about eight minutes from now. We will get exact numbers and details regarding this crash, whether it was just one vehicle or several that would have sent that enormous fire engine in through that building. I know you saw from the chopper video that fire truck nearly went through the building. So when it comes to injuries to the other person involved, it may have been the driver or it may have been people inside that building. We're trying to figure that out right now. It sounds like we might be having a press briefing in just a moment. So we're going to get to that, get set up and get you more information. But once again, if you are in this area, please avoid it to all traffic. It is shut down as police continue to investigate what happened. Here, Yuki, Jessica. Hmm. Okay, Alex. Thank you so much. As the pieces slowly start yeah. to come together, yeah. we of course will follow the uh, the people that were transported, the firefighters, and anyone else who were transported to the hospital from this crash. You're looking live. You can see some of the people there now, uh, some of the crew on hand, trying to look at how this thing happened, and try to figure it out. How about that black car as well? It yeah. looks like they hit it. I mean, you would imagine if they are rushing to a scene, they must have hit them head on, very high rate of speed. And you can see the traffic light is still working there. So it happened right there at that intersection. We don't know if that black car was maybe ran a light or something. The, the, the right people right there are right now trying to figure this out at what happened at that intersection that caused that fire truck to go through the building and once again causing injuries as well. Right. It is unbelievable. You